Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kevin Erdell and welcome back to my channel. For today's LEGO episode, I'm going to be doing a LEGO 2018 Infinity War LEGO set. Here it is. This is Thor's Weapon Quest, set number 76102. This set has 223 pieces and retails for about $19.99 in the US. Let's check out this set. Now this set has three minifigures. Here they are. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. Alright guys, so our first minifigure is Lego Rocket Raccoon. There he is. So anyway, this character has a specially molded head and some pretty nice torso printing. And his backside, he has an attachable tail along with some back printing which is slightly blocked off by the tail which is okay and his weapon is just a pistol with a stud brick a one by one brick alright I'll go ahead and show you guys the next minifigure our next lego minifigure is Thor here he is. Now this figure does not have leg printing, which is pretty disappointing. Although his front printing does look good. His face expressions are exactly the same as from Thor Ragnarok. Now as you can see, he also has back printing. This back printing does look pretty nice as well. And he has sleeveless arms. And he has a dual-sided face, which I'll go ahead and swap that now. And his dual-sided face is when he is in his Thunder God form, and or like I, I like to call it, Avatar State. From Avatar Last Airbender, it's a reference, but anyway. And, and this set includes some elect translucent electric blue pieces like these two that you can attach onto his hands which I'll go ahead and do to show you guys and here he is it does look really awesome I'd say a cool effect to the figure and I'll go ahead and quickly show you guys oops I'll go ahead and show you guys the rest of those pieces so there's two of these which are just slightly smaller than the ones that he has now one of these guys which could be some sort of shield or whatever and two what looks like blue fireballs, which is supposed to be electricity. And yeah, that brings us to our last minifigure. Our last minifigure is Teenage Groot. Here he is. He has torso printing, as you can see, but no leg printing. Which also, once again, is pretty disappointing. He does have a specially molded head, which is pretty awesome. And here is his back printing, which is still awesome. And his weapon is just a branch or twig, whatever you want to call it, that is supposed to be like sticking out of his hand. And yeah, that's it for the minifigures. This little build of this set is some sort of little portal as you can see and anyway it's got some more of these cool translucent blue pieces in the front now the main feature of this set is I'll turn this to the side is that you push this forward like so to reveal Thor's possibly new weapon I'll go ahead and take this out and here it is. It is brick built. 
So it is not just one piece weapon, which is pretty cool. And yeah, as you may have noticed, there is our infinity stone in the back. Now this, I believe, may be the power stone. Although, I'm sorry, I might be wrong. But that is the stone that was in Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'll go ahead and take this off. And I will give you guys a better look at it. And there it is. The Infinity Stone. Alright guys, now I'll go ahead and show you guys the main build of this set. So I'll start with the most obvious feature, which are these stud shooters. You just click the top, and they fire. Well, that's lost forever. And anyway, so the next I'll show you guys the cockpit. As you can see, I brought that down. And to make it easier to get into the inside, you just can take this whole top piece off. And to reveal the interior. Now I'll go ahead and put in the minifigures. Because this can fit every single minifigure in the set. So let's start with Rocket Raccoon, like so, and then I'll put in Thor next, I'll just place him in the middle on that brown stud, like this, and then Groot, I'll just pull this up like that, and slide in Teenage Groot. Like that. Here's a view of the inside with all the minifigures in. And I'll go ahead and shine a light in there so you can see. And then I'll go ahead and close up the front. Like that. And then put on the top. Although sometimes Thor's hair sticks out a bit too much. So I'm just going to set him down in here like that. And all the minifigures are inside. I'll go ahead and slide this around. So you can take a look at the different views of it. With all the minifigures inside. And these flaps right here can pull up to reveal a sticker. It's the same on both sides. And yeah, now the last feature of this set has to do with this right here. Now this set can be combined with the Thanos Ultimate Battle Set. That set comes with the new Milano, and you can clip this onto the back. Which is pretty cool, I think. I do not have that set in my possession. So, I cannot show you. So, anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this LEGO episode. 